university. Well, I'm very happy to be here. And today with me, I have Emmanuel Rotier, uh, Vice President of Smart Industry at Orange Business. So thank you so much, uh, Emmanuel, for joining me here. Thank you, uh, thank you, Samuel, and thanks for having me here on stage. Thank you. So, you know, Emmanuel, so everyone know Orange as a service provider, but Orange Business, tell us a little bit more. So Orange Business is the B2B arm of our D Orange Group. So um, we are a leading operator and digital services integrator. So we provide transformations, digital transformations, sustainable and efficient to our B2B customers. So we do that in combining our strengths in cybersecurity with Orange Cyber Defense, connectivity, cloud, and data. We provide, thanks to our platforms, but also to the ecosystem of partners, the, um, um, sorry, the um, transformation and, and the, uh, data, um, the data elements and efficiency of our customers you know, on a global basis. Okay, that, that, that's really interesting. So you, you said a, a magic word, digital transformation. I think all our customers uh, this week at, at Cisco Live are talking about that and want to leverage that. You have been doing that for some time, but what change did you see in the market? You know, how have you seen things evolving recently? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm fighting with the, with the <laughs> ear, but I think I'm going to do it without <laughs> it, okay? So we've seen, I would say, many things you know, happening in the market. So first, you know, the OT world is definitely, I would say, uh, adopting the IT technology. So it's a, it's a must, I would say, um, in order to, be, uh, to go towards the operational efficiency. And also the IT players have been adopting, I would say, and, and uh, putting and embarking the OT requirements into their product. So that's the first element. Second, what we've seen also is the cybersecurity. So the operations, the uh, OT world is the first target of the cyber attacks. For example, manufacturing is by far the first uh, um, set, uh, divisions, I would say, or activities which are being targeted by cyber defense, by cyber, I would say, attacks. Second, or third, I would say, we have also seen, I would say, that the OT environment or OT uh, sites uh, and teams do not have so much IT expertise, mm. meaning that they need to have the IT capabilities to design, deploy, and operate those IT technologies to support their operations. So, you know, and, and finally, maybe a last point, it's about the regulation. So regulation is also happening. We see more and more, I would say, stringent regulations in cybersecurity domain. And just taking the example of NICE2, right, I would yeah. say, which is going to be, I would say, uh, I would say <laughs> yeah, yeah, mandatory by the end of the year, right, around Oct uh, October for sure, where basically it's going to impact more than 300,000 organizations in Europe, but even more, you know, beyond Europe, companies being part of the supply chain of Europe, you know, will have to comply with NICE2. No, that, that, that's for sure. So, listen, uh, Orange and Cisco have been partnering for more than 30 years now, and we've been uh, working together on the IT world. So, how uh, are you addressing this customer challenge and this customer need with the Cisco technology? You know, how, are you, how, you, how are you helping those customers? So basically, I would say we also on our on our on our side, our range, you know, IT players. So we also developed and acquired OT expertise, and this is needed, you know, to better understand our customers, to embark their needs into our solutions. So we indeed. Uh, made our solutions evolving um, uh, in order to, uh, to, uh, to uh, embark those OT requirements and also to make sure that the OT world standards are part of our IT solutions. So we also have the capacity to deliver in the field, so on these sites, but also globally those IT solutions made for OT. And furthermore, I would say, the gaps that we see you know, on the IT technologies and capabilities on the OT side. So we help our customer to basically bridge that gap in offering managed services. The expertise that we have in-house in, in terms of OT and in terms of IT, which are so crucial for the OT in their digital transformation. So we make them available to our customers through our managed services. So, you know, it's been a very busy week at Cisco Live this week, but on Tuesday, I saw a blog post from you, Emmanuel. I saw quite some news on your side. So 
What have you launched this week? Tell us more about it. So actually, you know, we started uh, to launch two services, and I will come to the, I would say, post uh, that you are just talking about. The first, I would say, service that we've been launching was about industrial, managed industrial land. So it enables to provide, I would say, the optimal performance of a land into, I would say, in a tier, on a tier environment. We have launched also managed security services, enabling to address, I would say, the threats of the OT um, uh, domain uh, and tend to help, I would say, our, our customers to address that threat with our service. But we went a bit further. We basically use Cisco capabilities in terms of networking, but also cyber, cyber security with cyber vision. So we embark cyber vision into uh, the switches, uh, Cisco switches, in our offering in order to make that a unique platform in order to deliver both an optimal performing OT network and cybersecurity, I would say, assessing the security threats you know, for, for the OT world at the same time. And, and so basically this new service enables four, I would say, uh, offer four new elements to the customer. So first, it, it enables to deploy and manage a zero trust architecture, right, with OT sensor. Second, we are um, basically addressing the challenges of our OT customers with the optimal performing OT network, but also the optimal uh, cybersecurity part, right? And, and finally, we um, also offer um, one single player, a leader in cyber defense and in networking, being responsible for both services on the cybersecurity side, but also on the industrial one. And finally, it also enables our customer to, I would say, reduce their TCO. And why? Because basically we simplify the architecture with that platform, but also we reduce the needs for, uh, that, that our customers are facing in terms of resources, which are scarce and expensive. So listen, it's a fantastic news, and obviously at Cisco, and uh, as a leader in initial networking, I'm very excited to hear about that. I have one last question for you, Emmanuel. So why Cisco? Why is the Cisco industrial IoT portfolio? So you know, Samuel, we've been partnering for many years now, 25 years actually, right? And you've been present in the industry world, I would say for a long time also, around 20 years, right? Your, I mean, you prove it here. I mean, your portfolio in terms of uh, industrial IoT equipment, I mean, is definitely very wide. Switches, routers, and even, you know, on the cyber defense part, you are present on the IT and the OT. So you are present locally and globally. And for us, being a global partner, I mean, that's very important. We can count on you to support us towards those OT customers to build up the right services, like we just announced, in order to address their challenges in the OT world. So, well, this is Emmanuel. Thank you so much, thank you for the trust. Thank you for the partnership over the years, it's been am amazing. Cannot wait to see what the service is going to deliver over the next uh, 12, 18 months. And we'll be back at Cisco Live to talk more about it. So thank you so, so much for joining us uh, today at Cisco Live.